Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. We're carrying on with a beer from the fan series. This beer was brought to me by Andy, Bramley Bull. And he came all the way down from Leeds to meet me in Barry, South Wales, where we had a drink in a pub. And he got up in his bag and he said, I brought some beer from Yorkshire down. This is by the York Brewery and it's the Yorkshire Terrier. Now this beer has been brewed, as it says there on the bottle, in amongst the city walls of the town. It's a medieval town, so it's, it's very, very old. And we, we used to have defensive walls around to, to safeguard from invaders. So um, we're going to be cracking on with that in a moment. But first, still with the beer from the fan series, Beer Lover 1983 on Twitter sent me Way to Amarillo, American IPA, brewed in Witten by Grant Walker, 5.1% ABV and it's in a 500ml bottle. Look at that, he's even got his own label. Isn't that great? Here's the beer in question, it's a home brew. Quite cloudy, but as there is a suggestion of Amarillo hops in there, it gives a nice nose. It reminds me of that um, Solero ice cream. It's, 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 it's got like an ice cream feel to it with hints of fruit and all sorts. So. Quite a nice brew. Quite a nice brew. I have quite, in the past, had quite a few home brews sent to me. They all don't make the channel. Um, in fact, I think this is the first one to make the channel. I'm quite impressed with it quite impressed so thank you Grant Walker carry on with the home brewing you're doing a fantastic job but we're going to get to ow not my thumb we're going to get to York Brewery's Yorkshire Terrier it's fizzing away there in the bottle So really windy night tonight, really high winds. Um, must be about 80, 90 mile an hour winds out there. So this beer, I mean, it must be very, I've never home brewed. I, I wouldn't know how to home brew. Uh, two finger head. It must be a totally different task to brewing a beer in a brewery where you've got all the proper equipment where you can get the beer nice and sparkling and clear like that. As I said, it's a two finger head, it's coppery in colour. Um, it's very clear, it's nicely carbonated, it looks very, very nice indeed. I have yet to be to, to go to York. I like my archaeology, so I would like to go one day. Yep, so let's get the nose. Ah. There's that distinctive, unfortunately, there's that distinctive butterscotch nose on this. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Extremely biscuity on the finish. Extremely biscuity. There's that butterscotch toffee taste. Um, it's not massive. Still getting the biscuit malt. And it's, there is a bit of citrus in there, but it's a. It, there's a bit of a shame with this. It has. Um, hmm. It's not stinking with diacetyl. 
it is not stinking of diacetyl. That's that butterscotch taste. Basically, as I learned last week from um, one of the head brewers at the Guild of British Beer Writers, um, the yeast gives off. Um, it's a reaction when it's when it's brewing with the malts and the hops. Excuse me, I'm, I'm giving you this as a beer review. I'm not an expert on this, but it re it releases um, diacetyl into the beer, and towards the end of the brew, it's meant to mop it all back up again after. Um, so I'm not sure if they've stopped this brew early. I'm giving you a very vague um, explanation with what diacetyl is. Um, put it in the comments box if I'm doing okay with it. If I'm not, tell me what it is. <laughs> just, just put me right in the comments box. So basically it hasn't mopped up the diacetyl at the end of the brew. That means I think it's either been boiling too hard and it's killed the yeast. There's either a small infection or they've just switched the brew off too early. Ah. That is a shame. It is Do you know what somebody else told me at the Guild of Beer Writers? The secret to all the big beer reviewers is to not give a bad review. But my, my instinct tells me not to do that. My instinct tells me to post this because I'm an honest beer reviewer and I don't just want to give good review after good review after good review I think there comes a time where or whenever I whenever I do get a bad beer I, I'm perfectly honest with, it, with you <coughs> it's not bad it just probably probably needed a little bit more care That is a shame because it has got, if you take away the diacetyl, if you pick this beer apart enough, without the diacetyl, without that butterscotch toffee taste you get in the beer, you would be able to get the, the nice bready, biscuity, malty finish more, it's there but more, and you would get a little bit of citrus from the hopping. Let's give you some notes on the back. The story goes that one of the original brewers in York used to tie his pet dog up alongside the mash tun. It remained loyal to him until the dog died through old age. Curiously, the brewer believed his dog's spirit lived on as a mischievous and playful presence. Yorkshire Terrier continues the story and its lively character reflects all that is good in a man's best friend. Colour is golden, scent is orange zest and light hop. You might have got that before, unfortunately not in this particular bottle or batch it would have been. Taste is clean, sharp and bitter. Bitter is 4 out of 5 and sweetness is 2.5 out of 5. Okay, website www.york-brewery.co.uk 4.2% ABV. Sorry Andy, you come all the way down from Yorkshire to bring me this beer and it's, it's just a shame it didn't quite live up to what it was meant to live up to, what you've probably tasted in the past, so I'm sorry about that. Um, York Brewery, if you're watching, Please, please, I'm sure you will have a look at um, 
have a look at the um, diacetyl issue in, with, with your beer. Because it is quite, quite, yeah, it's, it's quite prominent in the beer. It's a bit of a shame because it's masking everything else. Uh, so, unfortunately, I'm going to give this a 4. 4 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. Dreadfully sorry. Um, if you want to email me, it's realailguide at googlemail.com. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash realailcraftbeer. And Twitter is twitter.com forward slash today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like. I love your comments. Interested to see what you put in the comments box on this video. And cheers.